is more concerned with just saying that. Just a minute. Let me important. decide lymphocytes. Lymphocytes, because we have not recorded it previously. Lymphocytes can be divided into yes, B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes and lymphocyte like cells which are called natural killer cells which are large granulated lymphocytes then what are the speciality of b cells b cells are b cell bcr positive b cell receptor positive cd79 positive and cd1920 21 positive this is the features of which cells B cells and whenever B cells are activated they convert into yes plasma cells which are oval cells having a nucleus which is cartwheel shape and having a very prominent Golgi body which is saying that it is producing a lot of anti bodies then T cells all the T cells are TCR positive all the T cells are CD3 positive but Actually, T cells should be divided into further groups. That is T helper cell, T helper knife. There is T regulatory cells or T suppressor cells. And here is T cytotoxic cells. This is it right? Now, all of these cells are TCR positive, all of these cells are CD3 positive. But special thing about T helper is that not only it is TCR positive, not only it is CD3 positive, but specially it is CD4 positive. Right? About T regulatory, they are TCR positive, they are CD3 positive and it's very important point. They, some of the T regulatory are CD4 positive and some of them are or CD8 positive. Is that right? And it is strictly CD4 positive T helpers. But when we come to T cytotoxic, again, they are TCR positive, they are, yes, CD3 positive, yes, and they are CD. 8 positive. Is that right? Now you understand how they are thymus treated and why they become all TCR positive and why some are only CD4 positive and some are only CD8 positive. Then T helper cells under the influence of different cytokines. Either they are under influence of interleukin 4 or they may be under the influence, special influence of interleukin 12. If they are under the influence of interleukin 4, they convert into T helper. Two, very good and if T helper naive is under the influence of interleukin 12 they will convert into T helper 1 is that right now T helper 1 and T helper 2 they both produce interleukin 2 they both produce interleukin 2 this interleukin 2 act on these cells plus some of this interleukin 2 can also act on T cytotoxic to stimulate it interleukin 2 but very special products from t helper 2 is interleukin yes 4 and interleukin 5 interleukin 4 is b cell growth factor interleukin 5 is b cell differentiation factor t helper 1 produce very special product yes tumor necrotic factor and gamma interferon and both of them can act on the macrophages and convert them into super active very very active very very active macrophages right or into modified epithelial cells macrophages which are almost sleeping is that right clear and t helper 2 with B cell and plasma cell are component of humoral immunity because they are leading to the development of antibodies. But T helper 1 with the macrophages are component of cell mediated immunity. And T cytotoxic are also part of cell mediated immunity. Is that right? This is what we have discussed in last lectures. 
नेचुरल किलर सेल वी डिस्कस प्रीवियसली Why we call them natural killer cell? Because they naturally kill. They don't need specificity. You know that activation of T helper cells and activation of T cytotoxic is through TCR, and they are activated only with a specific antigen. Even B cells have BCRs, which can be activated only with a very specific antigen. But natural killer cells are non-specific in their killing action. Due to that reason, we say that they are BCR. Negative, TCR, negative, CD3, negative. Even B cell marker like CD19, 20, 21 also negative. So natural killer cells are negative for the surface marker of B cells. The negative for the surface marker of T cells. Even CD4 and CD8 also negative. Is it right? But natural killer cell naturally kill. They are not part of adaptive immune system. They are the part of innate immune system. Right. What I really mean by this that innate, like innate immune system, they are non-specific in their action, and with repeated exposure, the number does not increase. Right. How the natural killer cell kill? There are three mechanisms by which they kill. Number one, any cell which does not express, does not express self class one, no self class one molecule. You know, every cell in your body. All nucleated cells are supposed to express your own class one molecules. If natural killer cell come across a cell in your body which is not expressing class one, natural killer cell will kill this cell, right? By producing the perforins and by pr producing the granzyme and by fast fast interaction apoptosis. So, all the cells in your body which are not expressing your own class one molecules, natural killer cell kill them. Now, what are those cells which do not express your own class one? Some of these cells are infected by viruses. Some virus downregulate the gene for class one, so so your cells do not express your class one. So, natural killer cell will kill those viral infected cell. Or some of your tumor cells uh, switch off the class one gene. So, those tumor cells which are without your class one, they are also killed by the natural killer cell. Thirdly, if some other person tissue is transplanted into you. Of course, other person cells or donor cell, right? They do they express class one of the donor? They do not express the class one of the recipient. And recipient natural killer cell, when they're looking for the recipient self class one, and they don't find on the donated tissue, they again kill that, right? So this is how non-specifically they can kill virally infected cells or tumor cells or uh, transplanted tissue cells. Is that right? Moreover. Some tumor cells express a special type of proteins which are called mica protein, M I C A, mica protein. And these, you can say, okay, I, I'm making one natural killer cell. Number one, it has a receptor to recognize self class one. Natural killer cell is very serious type of cell, right? So number one, it has receptor to recognize the self class 1 and whenever on any any cell it finds self class 1 it does not damage that cell it's very important natural killer cells are the cells which scan all your cells for the presence of your own class 1 your own cells are expressing your own class 1 so they don't do the damage but whenever they come across a cell in your body which is not expressing your own class 1 they will immediately kill we have seen the example number 2 Natural killer cells have receptors for mica. Receptors for mica. Mica is a protein which may be expressed on some of the tumor cells. And whenever natural killer cell engage the receptor on the mica, they kill the cell. They come to know this is a abnormal cell. Thirdly, that natural killer cell not only they also are having a receptor for antigen, sorry, antibody. They have a receptor for IgG. So, if there is a cell on which IgG is present, what is this? IgG. And if a natural killer cell come here and engages with this receptor, right? So, it assumes that if IgG is present on this cell, it means this cell is having some antigen against which our antibody is fixated. So, this cell should not be there. So, it will kill that cell. So, let me recap. What are natural killer cells? They are wrongly classified as lymphocytes. They are not lymphocytes. 
even though they look like like a large granulated lymphocyte but they are not truly lymphocytes because b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes are part of the adaptive immune system which can be stimulated only by exposure of the antigen and uh, with repeated exposure b cells and t cells uh, amplify their responses and t cells and b cell responses by the virtue of their antigen specific receptors they only respond to specific antigens but natural killer cell do not have any specific receptor for unique type of antigens they are non specific killers number 2 natural killer cell do not need prior exposure for their activation number 3 natural killer cell by repeated exposure of particular antigen natural killer cell activity is not enhanced so all these things tell you that natural killer cells are not like b cells and t cells and if you are wise you will look for the surface marker of the b cells and t cells on the natural killer cell natural killer cell do not have the surface markers of b cell what are the surface markers of b cells bcrs and cd79 and cd192021 they are not present on natural killer cell in the same way natural killer cell do not have the surface marker of t cells they do not have tcrs they do not have cd3 but then how they recognize the target cells if they don't have bcrs and tcrs answer is that they have non specific receptors they have one type of receptors which will recognize the presence of self class 1 number 2 receptors which will recognize the mica protein number 3 receptor which will recognize the igg but remember that these receptors this receptor and this receptor give positive signal for the cell and this give a negative signal it means if okay make it uh, keep it simple that whenever actually whenever natural killer cell visit any cell in your body it should get its class 1 recognizing molecule engaged if this is not engaged then it take that cell as a foreign cell or modified cell right and it will kill that so number one condition in which natural killer cell is when they find a cell in your body which is does not expressing self class 1 these may be virally infected cell or tumor cells or foreign cells in your body transplanted cells or natural killer cell will attack the tumor cells which express mica proteins or natural killer cell will attack the cells which are having igg fixated on them is that right any question up to this so we have done just today t cell development and in next lecture we'll talk about b cell development along with the detail of the lymph node and spleen class dismissed